Hey everyone, it's Jeremy with Teletone. Today we're doing a walkthrough of our newest instrument, Vespertone. What is Vespertone? Well, it's basically four instruments in one, also with a twist. It's a Wurlitzer 200B, a 1930s vibraphone, a Jenko Celeste, and a Suitcase Rhodes. So um, all of these instruments have multiple mic positions, round robins, velocity layers, and all that. Um, and before we get into some of the extra you know, bonus features of the instrument, Let's just hear the four core instruments as they load on the default settings. Um, first up, let's just hear the Celeste, and we're not gonna touch any of the dials right now, we're just gonna hear how it loads. Very nice. Next, let's hear a little bit of the suitcase roads. So let's listen to the vibraphone now. You're going to notice that this one loads automatically with the vibration already on. Love the sound of that vibraphone. Let's move on to the uh, Wurlitzer now. And remember that we're just listening to how these instruments load by default. Okay, so now you've had a chance to kind of hear the four instruments as they load by default, but now we're gonna get into the, the fun and transformational part of Vesper Tone, and that is the three primary character dials. So we have the Celeste loaded up here, and you see here's our three dials, body, soul, spirit, they all do different things. Uh, the body dial is attached to the mod wheel by default, and so when you change that, you'll see as the sound is morphing, it also transforms the background. Um, you can attach any of these three to the mod wheel. We did a tutorial on it before, but in case you don't remember, you can control click, learn MIDI CC automation, then wiggle your mod wheel. And now they're both attached. But for now, let's remove that and let's just hear uh, what's happening with the, the body dial. You can hear the granular synthesis happening. And you kind of get like a slightly different sound with every little movement uh, in, in this range of motion. Uh, next, let's look at the second dial, which is the soul dial. This has um, a, a whole series of effects that are engaged at different points uh, in the range of motion. Let's listen to a little bit of this. If you really dig in with this all the way up, you can hear a little bit of tape saturation happening.
Okay, let's look at this spirit dial. This is uh, controlling another set of effects that once again are doing different things at different stages. Let's listen to this. There's actually an LFO happening earlier in the stages, if you really listen. Now, just for fun, let's uh, let's basically crank these all up and uh, hear what this sounds like. And I'll uh, I'll go ahead and use my left hand to move the mod wheel as we're listening. So once again, yeah, when we talk about uh, Vesper Tone being an instrument of transformation, this is what we're talking about. You can use these three character dials to do a lot with the sound. Okay, next let's talk about mic positions. And uh, each one of these four instruments, the Celeste, Rhodes, Vibraphone, and Wurlitzer are all going to come with three different mic positions or something similar to it. And let me show you what I mean. We still have the Wurlitzer loaded up here. So you can see there's close, cabinet, and plate. Um, so we actually kind of did a modification with the Wurlitzer that we recorded where we removed the cabinet and put that in an isolation booth and then put uh, some close mics, um, some Telefunken uh, Elam 251s just on the keyboard itself to kind of capture like the, um, the clunky sound of like the, the tones like acoustically that the Wurlitzer makes. Uh, then the cabinet was mic'd and then also, we ran the cabinet sing signal in parallel through a plate reverb. So let's listen to those real quick. Here is the close pair. So you can hear that's actually just the sound of like the, the worlds are being played acoustically. All right, next cabinet. And then the plate. And you can mix those in however you want to. Um, let's hear another option with one of the other instruments. Let's uh, get rid of the Wurlitzer and let's load up the vibraphone. And you can see the three mics here. We have close, ribbon, and room. The close mics are again the, e the Telefunken Elam 251s. The ribbons are a pair of uh, Kohl's 4038s, and then the room was a vintage pair of Neumann M49s. Uh, let's hear what these sound like, starting with the close mics. And by the way, you can unload a mic position just by clicking on it. And 
and let's hear the ribbons. Let's hear a little bit of this room. Uh, the mic setup for the roads was very similar, so um, let's just hear this the last real quick because that one um, is a little bit different since we decided to put the Elam 251s and the Coles right next to each other for a close option on the Celeste. <laughs> let's just start with the close mics. Let's hear the coals, the ribbon mics. And a little bit of the room. There are a few features of Vesper Tone that will seem familiar to you if you bought some of our other instruments, like the nostalgia button, the age knob, and then uh, the way that you can adjust, you know, room tone and stereo width. You can combine all those features to really affect the, the fidelity or like the age of the sound. You can make some really interesting lo-fi sounds once you dig into it. I already have the Celeste loaded here. Um, we'll just leave the mic positions where they are. and. Um, really quickly, because I don't want to go too long in this video, uh, let's just hear, you know, what we can do with the sound using the, the functions that I just mentioned. Nostalgia, age knob, including the, the wow button, and then um, noise and stereo. Uh, we've added some things to noise where before it was just the room tone from the mics that you could turn up or down. Now you can also select cassette or vinyl. Cassette is going to be like a tape hiss and then vinyl is vinyl crackle. So starting with it kind of full fidelity. Let's engage the nostalgia button before we do anything else so you can just hear it. What does it do? Well, we never, we never really tell you, do we? Um, let's go ahead and start turning up the age knob. The age knob, um, as you may know, is going to engage some high pass and low pass filters, saturation, among other things. You can use this wow button to add some tape warble. And there's a, a way that you can uh, pick what speed you want for that uh, warble. Let's just keep it at the default for now. Uh, let's hear a little bit of the room tone. And just so you can hear it, let's hear the tape hiss. Add some vinyl crackle. And let's make it mono. And let's make it even noisier. Let's make it super noisy. Because I always like, I add a lot of noise and then I just, um, you know, usually end up like side chaining it with the kick drum or whatever. Because it sounds really cool when you have that noise ducking. Um,
at the H knob without the wow. So, so you can really dial in kind of a lo-fi sound with all of those. I'm gonna turn these back down. Okay, while we still have the Celeste open, let's talk about the mechanics knob. Uh, because I don't know how many of you have actually played a Celeste, but it's a very mechanical instrument. There's a lot of moving parts. It's kind of noisy, um, which can be cool, but we did our best to try to record all of those little movements of the, the moving parts, um, which is connected to this mechanics knob right here. So that could be anything from like your sustain pedal uh, to just like the sound of like the hammers and, and moving parts inside. So you can kind of hear all those things moving. Um, uh, and that is gonna affect different things for different ones of these, uh, for, for different instruments, because, you know, the vibraphone doesn't actually have like a lot of, you know, clunky moving parts to it. So um, on the vibraphone, that's mainly just gonna be limited to like the sustain. But yeah, these will do slightly different things on each of the instruments. And just kind of a short hop away from mechanics, we have vibration. This is gonna affect the, the tremolo effect of the instrument. Now, a Celeste doesn't actually have like a tremolo effect built into it or anything, but we thought it'd be kind of weird to just like, you know, take that off for just one of them. So Celeste gets, a, gets vibration as well. But let's go ahead and load it with one that naturally does have a tremolo to it. Um, let's load up the, um, the roads. So there's two, uh, parts to vibration. There are two different kind of menus right here. There's depth and speed, which do kind of what you think they would. And as you're affecting the speed, you actually get two choices here for how, how you wanna control the speed. There's either manual, which is what we're on right now, or sync, which is gonna sync with your DAW. And so this can be, uh, so in case you want it to kind of be, you know, in time with your metronome, you could do that. So that is vibration and mechanics. All right, the last thing I wanted to cover are the presets. Now, when you download Vespertone, um, all of the default patches for the four instruments are gonna be sitting there next to a folder called design patches. And all the presets are inside the design patches folder and they are organized by instrument. So we're not gonna go through all of them right now, but we'll just hit on a few. So as you can see, there's the Celeste presets, Rhodes, Vibraphone, Wurlitzer, and then there's this other folder called Transfigured. Transfigured is gonna be full of the presets that are a little bit more experimental. We're using that body dial a little bit heavier on that one. So these are gonna be presets where the original sound is not very recognizable. And um, just for fun, let's go ahead and just start with the Transfigured folder. Because some of these are gonna show off another feature that we didn't totally highlight because I knew we'd get to it here. And that is that uh, the arpeggiator. So uh, let's just load up one that I know has an arpeggiator. And this arpeggiator is going to perform as played. So, um, you know, sometimes you can set it to ascending or descending um, or as played. So however you play the notes is the order they're going to go in.
And if you hold the pedal down, you can kind of uh, let this go while you're adjusting uh, some of the other settings. If you just kind of want to hear what happens as you uh, mess with these dials a little bit, just hold your pedal down. That includes the sensitivity also. You can hold down your arpeggiator and uh, change the sensitivity while you listen. Okay, that is the preset IBM 5150. Let's hear another one. This one's called Unholy Choir, and as you can see, the, the sound is fully morphed using the body dial. Uh, none of the effects from soul and a little bit of uh, spirit dialed in there as well. Let's hear this one. So hardly recognizable about what the original sound of this one actually was. Um, we're we're going to move through some of these kind of quickly. So let's keep going. Uh, let's jump into the Celeste folder and uh, let's just uh, let's just hear like one or two of these. 1956. I like this one. You can already hear the noise. Um, I think I used all three noises on this one. lo-fi sound to that one. Um, let's hear one that's like completely different. So this is uh, based on one of the tracks from uh, Vespertine. <laughs> So the, the arpeggiator is going to work on all of these. Um... You almost uh, you get to a sound that's like similar to a pad, you know, when you uh, turn these up all the way. Uh, really interesting. Um, okay, moving on. Okay, let's look at a Rhodes preset real quick. And uh, some of these have a little bit of a wink and a nod to the, the song that we were referencing when we made the preset. Uh, this one's just literally, you know, the name of the Billy Joel track. Um. <laughs> I don't actually remember exactly how the keyboard part goes, so I'm sorry if there's some wrong notes in there. That is the preset, just the way you are. Um, next, let's look at a preset called Coma Dream, and this is kind of loosely based on, there's a scene in Kill Bill where there's an assassin 
walking down the hall of the hospital going to assassinate someone who's in a coma and there's a little bit of music that plays and we kind of based this preset on that vibraphone part. Let's see. Lastly, let's go to this uh, Wurlitzer presets folder and we'll just hear one of these. Let's hear Beloved John. And part of the reason that we separated the cabinet from the keys on this is because there's a Sufjan Stevens song that I really, really, really love and I wanted to be able to capture the sound because it, in that track, it sounded like they had just mic'd up a Wurlitzer acoustically. And so we were kind of trying to to capture that sound. And uh, so this is mostly the close mics that are just on the, the keys. Throw some heavy compression on that and probably sound really cool. Um, so that kind of gives you a little bit of a glimpse into, um, you know, all the different presets and the corresponding folders to them. So that is our kind of brief walkthrough of Vesper Tone. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Hope it was helpful. Go to teletoneaudio.com to hear more demos and demonstrations.